congratulations to the double spare of uh, Tantawe Ahmad and Lina Natsir, but it's the world number two next on Lindan against the man who's, well, maturing into a fine play himself, Sho Sazaki of Japan. It's men's singles quarterfinals. So Sho Sazaki, a late bloomer and a dark horse. Now the top-ranked Japanese player. He's the player no one wants to face at the moment, and that does include Lin Dan here on court, who he's beaten recently. It's uh, going to be a very interesting affair, this one, because, of course, Lin Dan, one of the favourites to prevail here this week, but Suzaki has shown, well, anyone. He could be anyone. Absolutely, and the battle of the left-handers, the, the last time that they met was in the last 16 of the Indonesian Super Series event, the last Super Series event to be played, and it was very convincing indeed for Shur Suzaki. Well, Lin Dan, one of the, if not the, superstar of badminton, as you can see, doesn't lose too many times over 400 matches, just two defeats this year, although he's pulled out of a few tournaments, he suffered with stomach problems, a few ailments, and some are wondering whether the aura has slipped, but uh, he's still going to be, with Lee Chong Wei, the favourites to take this title. Yes, well, of course, he's won it three times previously. He was in four consecutive finals. The only final he lost was back in 2005, losing out to Taufik Piliat. But uh, apart from his quarter-final defeat a year ago to Park and White, he really has been outstanding in these World Championships. Well, just uh, you know, a thrilling uh, men's doubles match has uh, just finished on the adjacent court. That's why you can hear all the uh, cheering. And it's a uh, victory for the Korean pair of Jung and Lee. So here is Sho Suzaki, 28-year-old left-hander. Showed again his giant killing instincts yesterday with victory over Du Pengyu. And for the second time this week, coming from a set down. Had to save match points as well. He's resilient. He's in fine form, perhaps the best of his career. Yes, I think he is. And it's, it's remarkable, you know, he's just 29 years of age. So, I mean, where was he when he was at... One assumes his physical peak at 25, 26. He, w he wasn't producing these sort of results. Well, I think, to be honest, the, the reason he's suddenly improved is uh, the influence of Park Dubong, former World Olympic champion from Korea, now coaching in Japan. And I think he's made a huge difference, not just to the doubles players, but to the singles players as well. Well, we've uh, had pretty straightforward matches so far on court one, haven't we, as we uh, see the umpire there who'll be in charge of this. Jitirut Tanua Karapat of Thailand and Uday Sune of India is our service judge. Expecting this week that it will be a, a Lin Dan Lee Chong Wei final. Of course, Lee Chong Wei already through to the semis and he did it very convincingly indeed, didn't he? He's the number two seat. He's looking for a fourth world title. He's looking to equal the record of. One of his former teammates, Gao Ling, who won 15 major women's and mixed titles titles. And he'll do that if he wins here this week, but in Sho Suzaki, he's got a man who can upset the odds to face. Can he do it again? Will Lin Dan, like last year, succumb at the quarter-final stage of these World Championships? What's been Suzaki's ingredients then for success, as you say, Already, Jill, he's, he's beaten him fairly recently. Yes, his uh, his fitness levels are absolutely superb, and and I think uh, where he's improved so much is is with his ability to win the rally. So 
whereas before he Ladies didn't seem to have that many winning shots, I think right. he's really developed Lindan, that capacity. China. And then the superstar. And on my left, Charles Sasaki, chairman. Sasaki, the dark horse of these championships. Lyndon to serve, the ball, play. Place in the semi finals, up for grabs. Thrilling matches so far for Shozazaki. A couple of three setters coming from behind. It's been very straightforward so far for Lindan. All straight games, victories. Service over. One all. Flamboyant character. As I say, a real superstar. He's just won the Sports Personality of the Year award in China once again. Service over, 2 1. Lindan. As we mentioned, that Suzaki was that out? Oh, I thought that was wide. Yeah. I, I, Three, two. Well, Suzaki had a good view of it. And then again, so does the line judge. Got to put that behind him, Suzaki. Landed on the line. Four, two. Unbelievable, isn't it? This one was called right, I think. Yeah. Interesting thinking of uh, Suzaki, he's a, a late bloomer, 29 years of age. You look at late Dan, you know, 27, isn't he? And Lee Chong weighs 29, Peter Gader right up there in the top of the rankings, 34. It's unbelievable how these guys are all fairly mature sportsmen, you know, the badminton's a fast, next, speedy game. You think a young man would prevail as well? Yeah, well, I think what's even more extraordinary to me is the fact that the, th the three or four medalists rather because both semi-finalists beaten semi-finalists get a bronze medal in world championships the four medalists from the world championships back in 2005 so over, in the men's singles four, were the top five. four seeds again this year <laughs> i mean that to me is just incredible that the same four players are still at the top of their game yeah, Taufik's going to call it a day as far as world championships are concerned Peter Gader is as well. And now, Lee Chong Wei actually speaking this week has said, it may be my last as well now. He uh, hinted that he would definitely be playing it 2013, but let's come back on that a little.
Oh, oh. that's a great smash. Seven, four. Yeah, that's three in the same area of the court that he's picked up in his opening seven points one. Nearly 260 for Lindan. Force the pace a little too much there, shows Sazaki. Knows when he comes forward if he's going to play it down the Lindam forehand side. We've already seen several good smashes in there from the Chinese number one player. Shows Sazaki knows he's got to hit it much, much flatter. He's trying to do so, making the error. Oh, that's just wide. So it's Oro, six, eight. I think Sazaki will be. Relieved to see uh, one of these go his way. Wasn't missing by much, but it is out. That's good as well. Seven, eight. And although, of course, Suzaki has beaten the world number two at Singapore Open in their last meeting in June. So right on the line, isn't it? Lin has beaten Suzaki twice this year. Thank you the Sudamin Cup and the Asian Badminton Championships. So it's all nine, seven. So Suzaki. His movement to get behind the shuttle is just so quick. Lin Dan. from both players. Seven, seven. And although Lindan's got the edge here, it's just nice to watch a player come out who's not scared of taking on Lindan. He seems to be full of the uh, opportunity that's in front of him here, shows his arc. Yeah, I'm very surprised the umpire allowing both players to tell to when potentially we've only got one point before the mid-game interval. I think what was so impressive about that last smash there, Richard, was the fact that Shosazaki had lifted to the centre of the court. That's supposed to cut down the angles. You're not supposed to be able to hit a winning smash and find an angle as Lin Dan did. We are talking about potentially one of the best ever badminton players, certainly singles-wise. Maybe Morton might dispute that. Yeah. Oh, that movement today, that Eleven smash seven. from his deep Interval. forehand corner, Lin Dan making yet another winner, but instead of going straight down the line, directing the smash at Cho Suzaki. The body smash. So it's the Olympic champion, the three times world champion, who has an 11 7 advantage at the interval. <laughs> Peter Gader or Tian Min Nguyen or Vietnam, Vietnam, who are last out on this court, will play the winner. 
Not much being said to Lynn Dam. on the right there as we look at them, Shah Shwanja, he was world champion play. in 2003. Really terrific final he played against a left-hander Wong Chun Han of Malaysia. Here we saw Wong Chun Han playing early this week, losing to Wong Sakapon Sana. His final world championships as well. An apology there for Sasaki, but so is inside I'm sure he's more than happy 11. to see what happened there. Angle from Lindan, cross court shot. That's the one. That's exactly at full stretch. Watching it fall in there from Lindan. Well, I wonder why tactically Sho Suzaki is playing so many shots down Lindan's forehand side. There's another lift down his forehand. Stretching away here, Lindan, in the middle of this first game. It's amazing how many times it is from these best players. statement that uh, Lee Chong Wei has been making so far this week, beating Park yesterday and then Kevin Corden very easily today. It's been very impressive as well so far from Lim Dan. Hey, it's overdone it. Well, I think Lindan agrees 10, with me. 15. It was called cool, good. Let it go. That's what the coaches were telling Lindan. He's still five points ahead. 
Hit the line. Mm. I thought it was out. Hitting the 250 mark there, Suzaki. 11.15. Well, how many shots have we seen hit the line in this match? Really is quality badminton. And Suzaki's played his part too in that. the lift down the forehand side again 15, severely punished by Lin Dan yeah it's like watching an action replay that was an action replay but the original was like watching an action replay as well Talking about, you know, is the is the halo slipping from Lee Dan, and you know, is he unbeatable now? Because he only won three times this year. Some people would consider that a good year, never mind a, a good eight months. Yeah, only one of those titles, the Super Series, and and a lot of the talk is because he lost in the final of the All England to Lee Chong Wei. He says his focus is, obviously, he wants to win this week. And I'm sure he'll be desperate to win this week, but his focus is on next year, 13, the Olympics 16. here, at this very same arena. Because, of course, this year, this event is a test event for the 2012 Olympics. In fact, it's the first time in history that the World Championships and the Olympics will be in the same city, the same stadium, in consecutive years. He wants to make sure he holds on to his Olympic champion title. Oh, that's so quick. Oh, my goodness. Power. Suzaki stayed in this point. Tremendous power, though, from Lindan. Eventually overcomes the Japanese player. And it's action replay time again, isn't it, Jill? Well, it's absolutely extraordinary how on earth he defended this one. I just don't know. But it's still bewildering to me having him do what I call a soft clear. It wasn't a punch clear. It wasn't an attacking clear. It was just an ordinary clear to the back of the court. But once again to Lindan's forehand side. If Sazaki has got time, I don't know why isn't he isn't trying to find some angles himself and, and trying to take the initiative. Because Lin Dan is just brilliant overhead. He's got so many winning shots. The way to, to stop him using those is to attack him. I think he's got a great defence as well, but I think you've got to start using some angles. Yeah, it's a valid point. I mean, you, we'd only have to watch Lin Dan in this one game to see what he can do with the overheads. Never mind, I've watched him over the last five, six years or more. Yeah, that's nice. You see, instead of just putting in the clear there, didn't have to be a hard shot. He just sliced across the, f the feathers of the shuttle, bringing it down so steeply. Because we've watched uh, five or six matches already in court today, and you always felt like, you know, the one that was ahead should be ahead, will stay ahead. There's potential in this match, I think. There's some real potential for it to be a, a thriller. Well, he's hit three or four winners 18, straight down the line 14. from that forehand side. That time, Lindan deciding to go across court. Good thinking. Well, another wonderful 
beautiful angle from Lindan. High, high clear. Yeah. Yeah, he's suddenly getting a bit of a run around. 19, 14. You simply cannot afford to give Lindan too much time at the back of the court. As I was just saying, he's got such an array of shots. Suddenly for Lindan. Been a good contest, but it's a nice advantage, isn't it, for the number two seat? And he takes the opening game 21 14. So for the third time this week, Shosazaki has lost the opening set. And I like it against Du Peng Yu and Brice Levedez of France in rounds three and one. He's going to have to come from behind if he is to win. <laughs> and at least he can take that in to the next set, Joe Carney. That, you know, I've been here before a couple of times this week. Chase Suzaki. I know this time it's Lindan and not Levedez or Du Peng Yu, but... Yes, and, and he is very much a worker on court. So, you know, very, very fit athlete, Sho Suzaki. And, uh, but I can't help but wonder whether that match against Du Peng Yu yesterday, an hour and 15 minutes. And in fact, he had to save a match point in the second game, because as you rightly say, he had lost the first. He was 13-17 down in the second game, and then 19-20 down, had to save that match point. And won the third very easily indeed, 21-10. So he's certainly got the physicality, he's certainly fit enough, but whether yesterday's match has taken it out of him remains to be seen. Lindan, you know he has to maintain what he's shown in that opening set to see off this fighting show Suzaki. He's been the comeback kid, hasn't he, so far this week. But this is Lindan. This is the world number two, some regarding as the best player, if not of all time, certainly of his era. They haven't started, just having a little warm up. Second game, level play. Second game that Lindan would have wanted. Yes, and to me, Sho Suzaki looks a little bit sluggish. He really didn't react quickly enough to that. And I can't help but wonder if his match yesterday against the number eight seed, Du Peng Yu, hour and 15 minutes, whether well, that's so taken its toll on him physically one, for today, just two. taking the edge off his speed of movement. Well, he's done a lot of work in the gym over the last three months or so. Sho Suzaki he admitted back in April that he needed to be quicker in court. And the results, I suppose, have been there for to see won the recent US Open Grand Prix Gold event, won the Australian Open as well. So fitness has been something he's been working hard on. Yeah, you're right, an hour and a quarter yesterday in a thrilling game. Bound to feed it a bit. 
Yeah, and it's oh. not just his tournament results. He's beaten the reigning world champion Chen Jin three times this year. So he really has improved, there's no doubt about that. Out. So we throw a three, two. Well, what? What? Well, the umpire is saying that he touched the shuttle. I didn't see that at all. Well, that's. Uh, I find that extraordinary. Well, it's a, a brave umpire who makes such a decision. And Jitterit, how does he? Uh, saw it, otherwise she wouldn't have called it. Shosazaki, though, is left bemused. Let's have a look at this again, Jill. Well, I didn't see it. No, he didn't see it. But the person that counts did. It can be... It's so hard, isn't it? It's like, you know, like any bad call. You'd be so important that you use it to your advantage rather than negatively for Shozazaki. You know, use it as something to make him even more determined. Yes, that's very true. I mean, how an athlete reacts to the bad call or bad decision is very important, but it's uh, not very well saying that. I, mean, I know as an athlete that, you know, you're, you're so incensed by the injustice of it. We had a bad call, didn't he, at the start of the, of the first set as well, yeah. wasn't it? And down, put it out, and it was given in. Great control. Deep in his Five, forehand corner three. yet again, the winning smash. The way he looked round to his coaches after he hit that, I suspect they were telling him to avoid that one. Number one, he might be come the end of the week. He may have made an error with that, but Six, three. I think from the Japanese perspective, I think that was a much better shot, tactically trying to do better things in that rally. Not allowing Lin Dan to have time in his forehand corner. Inevitable. Survived it for the time being. Excellent. That's a rally, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yes. What a winner. What a rally. Fabulous point all round, and it shows us Aki who takes it. Well, 
Is it showtime or is it Lindan who will prevail as some would expect? Sensing perhaps that Shoa Suzaki was getting back into this second game. Suddenly, the injection of pace from Lindan up the tempo of the rally. It's terrific to see the way he's turned defence into attack here. Another one that was around the 260 mark. Signs about the body language of Sho Suzaki. Looking very dispirited after this rally. That's a good shot. Yeah. Where was that one? So is See more of this, more initiative taken from Phil Suzaki. Instead of just reacting to what ever Lindan throws at him. Oh, oh that's yeah. very, very good from Lindan. So is Laura. Yeah, this didn't down. He could, he could be quite a good player one day, couldn't he? Yeah, it's uh, the fact that he's so far ahead of a player who I think has played pretty decently in this match. Gives you an idea of how well Lindan's played. Missed that one, though. So is Oro 6 10. Have we in this men's singles? No. It's more been about power than finesse, but saw a little bit of it there. Well done. A couple of net winners for Suzaki. Up a little bit more.
Yeah, overall, the uh, Ten line judge that giving out. Ten all. Well, she's not afraid to make uh, her own decision, is she? Yeah, that was definitely out. Good overall. So then down with the uh, interval lead, but only by one point. And if you want any more of the noises about it, Juliana Schenk, who's just made it through to the semi finals at the expense of Tina Bau. Well, he's still in the fight, isn't he, Suzaki? Now, that to me is absolutely extraordinary. Do you see the grip on that handle? He's only got the grip part way up the handle there. It's absolutely extraordinary because his fingers must go beyond the toweling grip. Why would he do that? Well, I have no idea. I, I wasn't actually... expecting that answer, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's very similar, actually, to, to Lin Dan. And I did actually ask Lin Dan why he did it. Uh -huh. And, of course, uh, uh, I shouldn't have asked a silly question, but Lin Dan said, well, because I like it like that. So that was his only explanation. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but it is extraordinary. Both these players use a similar grip. Again, a little bit of hesitation there 13, from Suzaki. Crucial. 11. Thought about leaving this one and thought better of it. Service so over 12, 13. Another questionable Office. look after a call. Why? Yeah. Well, earlier on in the championships, we've been singing the praises of the court officials and the line judges. They have, they've been spot on in nearly everything, haven't they? Yeah. Well, we've seen a, a couple of shockers today. Uh, that's delightful. Well, that's probably why Shosuzaki has not been playing many shots back to the net. Because Lynn Dan always addresses the shuttle early. He's got so many options there, just guiding it across court. Example of the brilliance of Indan in that point. Now, he's hit several straight down the line, a couple across court. There, the body smash once again. Sixteen, 
to well. Pushing ahead now at a crucial time, Lindan. Sazaki is breathing heavily. His hopes are starting to slip here. Down there. So it's over. 13, 16. Just a bit annoyed with himself, wasn't he? Yeah. But there's the Japanese number one. First to the net. Therefore, could exert some pressure. Hit the shuttle downwards. Better. 14, but it's a, a match that's threatened to ignite. And yet it hasn't. It's been fantastic to watch still. down on the court and therefore this lift being caught with a drift and taken out Thirteen, fourteen. time is running out for Suzaki Expect him to give this 15, up without a fight. We know 15. he's a gritty and determined player. It's a long way back from here. Still hope, though. Set it up. And it works. The short left. The problem is that Lindan gets so much back that as an opponent, you feel the necessity to hit the lines. That's when you start making errors.
So the three times world champion is one step away from another final. Lindan had to fight for it. Shoshazaki played some fabulous badminton, but he couldn't get close to the world number two. Impressive, Jim. Very impressive. As you heard, 21 14, 21 16 in 45 minutes, the victory for Lindan over Sho Suzaki. We're getting closer to a Lee Chong Wei Lindan final, aren't we? So uh, Lindan knows it's either going to be a Vietnamese or Danish player that he'll meet in the semi final. I thought Lee Chong Wei was impressive. I think Lin Dan was equally as impressive today. Here is the draw. And Lin Dan meeting Peter Gaeta or Tian Min Nguyen of Vietnam, who will be the last match on this court, the one after the one coming up. Lin Dan, though, to be feared, it's always been the case, hasn't it? Looking for that fourth world title.